Got our first little dusting of snow last night. Winter is coming. Actually, come to think of it, who am I kidding? Winter isn't coming, it's here. And I think that's like the perfect segue to jump into a subject that I get asked about like kind of often. Uh, and that's like, how do I get ready for the winter? Like, like commuting in the winter and riding in the winter? Now this is a subject that I've actually kind of like avoided talking about a little bit, uh, purely out of the fact that I'm kind of a stubborn winter rider. And in reality, um, like me giving advice about riding bikes in the winter or preparing a bike for the winter is just sort of hypocritical. So please uh, take that into consideration when you consider anything I say here. Because when it comes to preparing a bike for the winter, I tend to do nothing. And I think that sort of comes from like being a privileged bike owner. I have more than one. I have, I have a lot of bikes uh, and I'll pick which particular bike I wanna ride on any given day, depending on what it's like outside. Uh, but my go-to is the, the fixed gear, purely because it doesn't have any mechanical things on it. I've talked about this before, that could go wrong. There's no ratcheting mechanism in the rear wheel. There's nothing that needs to click around. There's nothing that can get frozen. It's always going to work. If I can pedal it forward, it will get me where I need to go. Uh, and then I run 28 millimeter tires on it and uh, it, it gets through everything. I rode a fixed gear all winter last year with uh, the, the tri-cross sprinkled in between. So depending on what I kind of want to do that particular day, uh, that's what bike I'll choose. Now if there's like a massive like blizzard or something going on, I'll either walk to work uh, or I'll, I'll take my uh, hardtail mountain bike. And that's kind of what happens, but I actually do nothing to them to prepare them for the winter. I just ride them. I don't change to like a, a wet condition lube. Not real crazy about wet condition lube because, uh, because it just makes an absolute mess of chains. I like dry lube and then I just reapply that lube more often without it getting too dry. But then I don't have to do too much degreasing all winter because that is hateful, hateful work. Now when it comes to like fenders and stuff, I don't, uh, I don't put those on my bike. I don't have a good reason for that. The only reason that I don't put fenders on my bike is because I, I don't think that they look very cool. Uh, so that's kind of where me giving advice on winter riding kind of doesn't make sense. If you're smart, uh, you would run fenders all winter. They keep you relatively dry. They keep your bike in better working order because it keeps a lot of stuff off of moving parts. Uh, I would 100% recommend that you do, unless you're as stubborn as I am, uh, then then don't. And your, uh, and your bike will look really cool in Instagram posts, like mine does when I take Instagram pictures of them in the winter. Bike vanity, it's tough. Now what I do start to take a little more serious is uh, the clothing. Clothing to me is a pretty important thing to take into consideration if you're gonna ride in the winter. I think that's pretty obvious, but I don't have any super high-tech clothing, like nothing. Probably the most high-tech clothing I have for winter riding is my fox jacket that I'm always wearing in the vlog that has the ripped shoulder. It's like a wind protectant, like outer shell that I wear just a normal cotton hoodie under. And if I find it's gonna be really cold out, I'll wear like another cotton long sleeve that I'd wear in the shop and uh, like a, the t-shirt that I normally have on. For for pants, uh, I just wear jeans. Uh, gloves, face mask, hats, whichever one's the cleanest, I'll just wear. Um, easily probably my, my biggest and most important thing that I'll take into consideration when I'm actually going to be riding all winter is is just always having to have lights with me because it gets so dark so early that I'm going to get caught in the dark so I do always have some sort of rear light and then I'll have like a big headlight on. Uh, you've seen this headlight before but it is this guy which is charging. USB charge is easily the best way to go. That's USB charge. I noticed it was dying last night, so I'm charging it today. And I know that it's gonna be ready and it usually lasts for like a month. There's just nothing worse than getting caught at night in like rain without lights on. It's just sort of embarrassing if anyone that you know sees you being an idiot. And uh, two, uh, 
Uh, it's not safe. Maybe those are backwards. This is it. Like, this is my winter bike setup. It's actually the exact same as, uh, as my summer bike setup. The biggest difference is when I get somewhere, it's just miserable how wet and gross I am. Like I said, not great advice. Oh, and one last thing uh, before I go on to like the next part of this vlog. I have this, this bag, it's, it's a dry bag. Um, that way my, my laptop stays dry. Okay, that was a bit of a mess, um, but I am supposed to do a bike feature today. I'm hoping that it shows up soon because uh, it's going to be one of the better ones. You're here. This is the first time I've seen you today. <laughs> We're not reenacting this for the vlog at all. Oh, we have to put air in your tires. Yeah, and my seat's not on, and there's no chain on my Oh, what a mess. Crazy. This is supposed it's to be for great content. This is supposed to be the better bike feature. Yeah, yeah, Brent sucks. I think probably my favorite part about this is that you showed up with your bike the same way that you would at the beginning of a race. Just super not ready. Yeah. So the bike I have here for feature today is my good friend Colin. This is Colin. His uh, Richie P29er, which just also happens to be my absolute favorite bike in all of Halifax. Thankfully, he showed up the same way that we kind of show up everywhere, completely unprepared and, you know, changing bearings before we actually start shooting any video of it whatsoever. It's a complete mess. However, it is probably the most baller bike that I actually have in my fleet of friendship and bikes. So, it kind of ended up being the most necessary of bikes to put into the bike feature portion of the vlog every week. It's like the perfect reflection of like a bike that is just full of really nice stuff, but like no one can realistically stay on top of keeping it as internet bike clean if you're actually going to ride it. It just, this is just a real baller bike that doesn't get cleaned <laughs> nearly it's enough. well used. Well used. <laughs> Now I'm going to do something in this vlog that I've never done. I'm going to actually allow Colin to do the speaking of everything about his bike instead of me. There's a good chance that I might be like a little bit brutal because he's not really done it before, but that's okay. But first we need to put together a decent edit of this bike. Let me take the time, I know you like when I describe it. I've been lying to myself, truth, I wanna hide it. Fall in love in seven days a week and won't describe it. I've been trying many things, but nothing comes as close as flying. In the same plane as you, walk it, we can make it get away only for two. I know you're really fond of breaking backwards and breaking roads, cool. Got a couple things I think that I could really get used to. You threw it through the saying that you leaving the bruise too. Fuck it, I'm equivalent to something you ain't never seen. Your life ain't the same, so why you pressure me? I'd rather be the only one getting these feelings. I've been running so low. Yeah, I by myself probably would call out for help if I really need it. I can't really say I hope you see me. Truthfully, I'm fighting feelings. I don't think I need it. You need this probably more than anybody else. Got my head floating in the clouds, like I ain't touching down till I see we good. Yeah. Cause I don't really wanna feel the love, done it all before. Now I feel like I'm losing my control. Yeah, cause I don't really wanna feel the love, done it all before. See you want it now, more than anybody else. Got my head floating in the clouds, like I ain't touching down till I see we good. Yeah. Cause I don't really wanna feel the love, done it all before. Still you want it now, more than anybody else. Like you don't gotta take that. You just getting on my nerves. I'm just trying to lay back, take a breath and save that. Too much energy, you shouldn't waste that. Ladies on the other side yelling, you could have made less. Getting no messages on the daily, say you made it. Stop it for a second. Um, uh, yeah, that's the end of the vlog. This is my 2000. 13 or maybe 14 or maybe 12 Richie P29er really big because I'm really tall. I've got XX1 my gears 
3G for my seat post with my stem and my handlebars and my bottle cage, of course. My fork is really sweet because it's uh, not tapered, but it's got modern technology like a Shakira coating and a, a Fox Fit damper. I have a, an old SRAM uh, French derailleur shifter hooked up to the CTD the walkout and it somehow it just matches up perfectly. Got downhill brakes because I don't know why you would want brakes that don't work as well. My tires are super cool. They're kind of heavy but they're super cool. Wheels are Stan's race golds which have a rider weight limit that I sometimes am above but usually I'm like five pounds under so the back one's pretty beat up and uh, dented and not very round but, but they get the job done. My favorite part of this bike is these Paragon Machine Works uh, dropouts. This bike originally came with quick release dropouts but I uh, swapped them out for these uh, 12 by 142 through axle dropouts so the rear end is a lot stiffer than it would have been with the quick release dropouts. I mean that wasn't so bad. Do you want to plug your Instagram? Uh, Alright, that finishes the day. It is past 6 o'clock. I get the hell out of here. Uh, I do have somewhere I need to go, but I can't share it in the vlog because it has to do with December 25th. Let me know what you thought of Colin's presentation. I thought it was okay. Pussy like a gun. Back on black